Hey everybody, I am back. There's Lily, see the back of her. Um, and so I'm back with some new announcements for today. Okay, I do have a word of the day I'd like to share with everyone. And today's word of the day is convoluted. Convoluted is an adjective. Convoluted means very complicated and difficult to understand. It's a synonym of involved and intricate. The textbook has a detailed drawing of the convoluted surface of the brain. The author goes on detours and tangents and his reasoning is convoluted. And that is my word of the day. So something that's complicated and difficult is convoluted. And my thought of the day is shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, if you, miss you land them on the stars. So go high, go big. Um, try your best all the time. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I have some UTD news, but first, did you know that April 8th marks the day that Abraham Lincoln signed the charter for Gallaudet University, the world's first higher education institute for deaf people? He had advocacy first allowed for those who are deaf, blind, and mute to be awarded with collegiate degrees. This was a major step in the movement as they proved that their community can not only succeed, but excel in academia. UTD is collaborating with the Early Childhood Joint Task Force Committee on the Big Hands Helping Little Hands event in April. UTD is asking for donations of school supplies that will assist pre-K teachers in providing multi-sensory experiences to children in their classrooms. So check the Monday Morning Espresso for more details uh, regarding this Early Childhood Joint Task Force Committee uh, and Big Hands Helping Little Hands events uh, for donations of school supplies for pre-K teachers. As always, for more updates, don't forget to check the weekly newsletter, the Monday Morning Espresso, and uh, UTD website. So for more information on that. Okay, so it is Throwback Thursday. And my inspiration for this week is I was in Miss Bridges' classroom and I saw several students with a Rubik's Cube. And I know... Uh, that it is still popular today, but the Rubik's Cube goes back to the 1980s. Um, it was a really big toy back then. So I'm considering it our throwback because it was something in a different time period that was really big and being brought back again. So uh, I loved playing with my Rubik's Cube. Um, 
I can spend hours trying to do it and I was never able to, uh, but it was super, super fun. Okay, a couple of announcements to share with everyone. Okay, so writing, writing is today. Writing, writing, writing. Please make sure that you are following all directions. Please make sure that you are checking your emails uh, for everything going on during this testing period. It's really important that we follow directions and know what's going on and make sure that you are checking your emails. Uh, super, super important about that. Um, that is all my announcements. Uh, again, I have Oreo with me today. Lily was with me before. I hope that everybody has a super day. I know that everybody's going to do so awesome. I know that the kids that did SAT um, at yesterday and the day before, I know they did fabulous. I know the third graders that did their FSA reading. I know they did fabulous and good job to and um, I know that everyone is, that is doing their task is going to do an amazing job. I hope everybody has a great day. Thank you for watching WEXP News. Have fun exploring today.